So th actually this story began probably back in 2017 and uh, originated actually from, from the MPA Awards 2016-17. Um, I think it was Sabelco that actually demonstrated um, as one of the finalists a detection system that looked at their forklift truck actually moving within a, within a warehouse. It was at that point that from an FM Conway perspective we were obviously looking for uh, something that could uh, provide the same sort of protection around our loading shovels but in, in reverse. Historically the camera systems that we had fitted onto loading shovels only warned the driver and only uh, came up on a screen in a cab or perhaps it would just give an indication on a light. What we looked for was a system that um, broke that human error element and applied the brakes automatically. The Black Stair system detects both human and object. If it detects an object, it will not apply the brakes to a point where it comes to a full stop. It will slow the vehicle down and the individual can actually sense that, the driver, the operator can sense that, and so they can take the appropriate action before the object's actually struck. Um, from a human detection perspective, that's different because it's a critical control, it's critical at a point where you don't know where the individual is and you don't want to make contact with that individual for obvious reasons, it will apply the brakes full stop. Not only will it come to a full stop, at that point it will then send an alert um, up into the cloud, it will pinpoint on a map. The maps uh, that they use come from Google and we've, we've all seen those. We can then go into the camera system um, so that we can actually get a date, a time and a location of where the incident occurred. And then we can, then we can actually download the specific footage. So that gives us an, another opportunity to look at the risk. You know, we've failed safely, we've not struck the individual, we've not struck the object. And so at that point we can go back and say, well, hold on a minute, perhaps our pedestrian walkways, et cetera, are not where we should have them. We need to make the necessary adapt adaption. Um, we can even coach the individual in terms of, you know, you shouldn't have been in this area, et cetera. We can, uh, we can adjust our safe system of work. What does the future look like? Well, the future actually looks like that once that detection takes place, and we're working with Lee Bear at the moment, to actually immediately send a 30 second clip to the responsible person because at that point we're looking towards our ultimate goal where we are automatically reporting near misses. What we feel it does is, and from the conversations we've had with the drivers, it gives them that extra layer of protection. I've been driving loading shovels for about 20 years now, all different ones. It kicks in, then you stop and you look sort of thing. You get into the habit of like, that goes back, that would kick in before I look all the time normally. So it stops and you go back, you check and you go, carry on going back again. When you go up a machine, you, can, you can't see everything around you by looking behind. I haven't drove any machines with this level of safety before. One of the things that really excites me and I think is, is, a, is a must if we're actually going to move forward um, at a significant rate, is the relationships that we build with the manufacturers. You know, working with Lee Bear has been absolutely excellent. Um, we have regular meetings with them, we come up with different ideas, goes through to their development team, they give us a time period as to when that's possible in terms of implementation or whether or not there needs to be some other uh, technology that needs to come to the fore before we can actually put things in place. But significantly, you know, a massive improvement working with, with manufacturers with the same end goal, same end goal as everyone else has got, is preventing fatal or major injury accidents.